Okay, guys, random messages. Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. Let's see what this is for you here. You could be thinking about the past. Nostalgia. With the Fool card, you have a past life connection with someone that's going to sweep you off your feet. But I do feel you're letting go of the past and starting new. With the Nine of Swords, you could be extremely stressed about a past situation. Oh, no, you're not. Hold on. Someone that's screwed up is upset because they feel they don't feel your energy and ener like when they try to connect with you intuitively, energetically anymore. They can't feel you because you're focused on someone else. You're cutting ties and you're shielding yourself from whoever this ex is. And they have regrets because they know that they can't connect with you anymore because you don't want to. Because you're focused on other things. So it's kind of like dissolving that cord of attachment. Or you've already done cord cutting and they know this. So they feel that disconnect. I do feel this person could be in another connection though. And they have regrets. They chose the wrong person and they're wanting to come back to you. Their current partner is noticing that they're like in another... Like they're not present. They're like kind of stuck in their head. 111. They're in another world because they're thinking about you collective. But this person already has somebody. But this someone here is noticing that this person is in love or... Focused on someone else, which would be you, Collective. Yeah, with the moon. You're highly intuitive and you're feeling the energy of this person. And the High Priest says, yes, yeah, strong Virgo energy or moon is in Virgo. Take what resonates. This could be a twin flame with the black and white yin yang. But I feel like this person is thinking of you. And everything bad that they've done, they have regrets. And part of them wants to apologize. But part of them just wants to have you in their life. But they're not reaching out. They're kind of in solitude right now. Because we pulled the Hermit card, which is a card of solitude. But I feel like you are feeling this person's energy with the, um, what is this? The, the moon card. Yeah, with the death card, it's up to you if you want to take this person back or not, because you have free will. Um, so it's completely up to you. I feel like this person may have gone through transformation, or they feel this way, even if it is accurate or not. Or you may ask this person to give you time, or you simply will say no. It's up to you here because death is about a change. So it's either going to change for the better or change for the worse. But it's your decision because you have free will. But I do see someone that's an ex. If they're already in a relationship, then you should not go back to this person. But I feel like there was an ex who had a person. And they were constantly thinking about you. And if they are still with this person, they don't really talk to them. Or it's almost like they're strangers. I'm seeing like separate bedrooms. I don't know. It looks very strange. But with the death card, there's a change of some sort that you need to do. Whether that's continue to stay with whoever this person is. Or release them and start a brand new chapter all over again. So two very important decisions to make. They may not be options that you are okay with or that you support. But they are there. If you have any questions, let me know. But please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.